Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD as we call it, is a major challenge now uh, in terms of we now realize that it's projected to be the third most common cause of death worldwide by 2050. This is because people are living longer and aging is changing the disease profile uh, of COPD. I've been talking to clinicians working in a multidisciplinary way with COPD patients to support them better in the community so that where possible, and it won't be possible for every patient, uh, a patient can be cared for and get the support and the advice and the treatment they need in their own home and in their own community rather than being admitted to hospital and you know those kind of initiatives are important to help relieve unnecessary pressure on accident emergency departments and in hospitals generally but they're also so important in terms of improving the quality of life for patients with conditions like COPD. This funding couldn't have been more timely and I think First Minister's visit to the hospital will give us a boost to try and emulate this model, as I say, to other parts of, uh, of the Lothian. So yes, um, this funding will be very well utilised to try and help manage patients more, more in the community when, when possible.